Our team coverage continues with the threat of heavy rain tonight and the weeks and weeks of melting snow. Hoosiers living near rivers are understandably concerned about flooding. They're keeping a close eye on the water levels. As Chance Walser reports, experts say parts of the Wabash and White River are of concern this weekend. We keep an eye on it. In the five years Susan Burton has lived along the White River, she's seen the water level get pretty high. It's been about uh, maybe two and a half to three feet this side of that walkway down there. Which is actually only about 20 feet off her back porch. She lives off 82nd Street on the city's north side, and she is aware of the flooding potential this weekend. These are pictures she took a couple weeks ago as a large ice pack flowed by. We'll have widespread flooding ensuing in the coming days, and all that ice is going to break loose, and it may cause some problems. National Weather Service hydrologist Al Scheip is keeping a close eye on things too, and he has some help. You see all these green squares? Those are monitoring stations, mostly attached to bridges like this. They record and relay water levels and other information back to the Weather Service. For now, most of the squares are green, which is good, but Scheip expects that to change this weekend. We'll more than likely see, at least on the main rivers, mainly orange. One area of concern is the White River behind Susan's place. She says she'll stay vigilant, but... I'm not going to go down and buy sandbags and become panicked. And we're all back out live now along the White River, just downstream from Susan's place. You heard him mention that orange level. That means minor flooding. They are also anticipating, and by they I mean the National Weather Service is anticipating some of those boxes you saw turning red, which means to keep an eye on moderate flooding. Live downtown, Chance Walser, RTV6. All right, Chance, thank you very much for that. More details now. Hamilton County is preparing for potential flooding in about an hour. You can start filling sandbags at the county garage at 1717 Pleasant Street in Noblesville. The concern is that water runoff from melting snow combined with the possible heavy rains over frozen ground this week could lead to flooding along rivers, streams, and low-lying areas. You can get unfilled sandbags along with sand tonight from 6 to 8, tomorrow from 4 to 10 p.m., Saturday 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and Sunday noon to 2 if needed.